Now that I've spent more time with the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, or THE Rogue Ohio Power Bar, I wanted to do a follow-up video and give you my quick thoughts on it and my suggestions if you're looking at buying this bar, because as you may or may not be aware, there's actually three different versions of it, and I'm gonna give you my feelings on each of them. And if you haven't seen my previous video on this where I talk about my initial impressions, I'm gonna link that in the description box below so you can check it out for more context overall. But I don't think anyone will disagree with me when I say that this bar has quickly become the gold standard when it comes to barbells, whether you're building a gym in your home, whether you're a successful YouTuber opening your own private gym, or maybe you wanna sweet talk the commercial gym into getting more equipment, or maybe you just wanna be that person who brings their own barbell with them to the gym, you really can't beat the Rogue Ohio Power Bar no matter which version you choose. And I think it's its blend of quality and affordability that really set it above the rest. And I can honestly say you won't find a better barbell for your buck than this bar right in front of me. Now, even though I have this bar, I love this bar, it would be my number one recommendation for anyone who asked, it's still not the best barbell that I own. And in order to understand why I say that, we have to look at the different variations of this bar and compare that to what I already own. So let's break that down a little bit. I put these three different bars from Ohio Power Bar into three categories, being good, better, and best. For the good version, what you're looking at is a 45 pound bar with 16 and one quarter inch loadable sleeves and no finish whatsoever. So it comes in a very bare steel. It retails for $250. The better option is still gonna be a 45 pound bar, still gonna have 16 and one quarter inch loadable sleeves, but you get a nice black zinc finish on the shaft and bright zinc on the collars, and that's gonna retail for 275. The best option, the option that I have here before me, is gonna be a 20 kilo bar. It's gonna have a little bit longer loadable sleeves at about 16.9 inches. And let's be honest, when we're talking about length, every little bit counts. And you're also gonna get that coveted IPF approval that meets IPF specs. And you could actually use in a competition in the IPF or one of its affiliates like the USAPL. And being that premium bar, it's gonna cost $325. Now, even though I consider it premium and it's the most expensive of the three, in reality, it's still a very affordable bar, especially when you consider the closest competitor that's IPF spec is gonna be the Titex bar, which retails for like 700 bucks. And I actually find that this Ohio Power Bar is more stiff and better overall than the Titex counterpart. So that being said, otherwise the bars are all fairly similar. You're still going to have the same aggressive powerlifting neural on them. You'll have the same powerlifting neural marks for setting your grip. You're gonna have the center neural as well for things like squats. You're gonna have the same actual bar lengths across all three, even though the loadable collar length and sleeve length changes a little bit. And you will have the same tensile rating of 205,000 PSI, which means they're gonna perform as far as whip and flex go overall the same. Again, one of the other differences is just the finish with the bare steel, in my opinion, being the worst since I have it at the lowest end. And that's just because for the longevity of the bar itself, you'll find that the bare steel bar is more apt to rust and open to oxidation and things of that nature. And I just think the black looks a lot better anyways for not that much more of a cost. So very affordable bar, no matter which version you choose. Now, a couple of things about it with the actual knurling itself, it's rated as very aggressive. And I think this really depends on you as an individual and what you're used to. If you haven't trained with a power bar or specialty bar before, I do think you will find this very aggressive because you're probably used to gym beater bars that have little to no knurling. But if you are used to using specialty bars, like let's say a Texas deadlift bar, I don't think that this particular barbell is as aggressive as that. So it really depends in my opinion. Now, as I said, all three of these bars, no matter which one you choose or are looking at, are pretty good deals. However, as I said, even though I have the premium or what I consider the best version of this bar, I don't think it's the best bar that I own because one of the other bars I own is the West Side Power Bar, which has very similar specs except for two key differences. Number one, the West Side Power Bar has a much more aggressive neural, which I prefer. I think that is better. It has the same overall cost, but with the West Side Power Bar, you also get a little bit bigger collars, which some might say is a detractor because you don't have as much loadable sleeve length. But for me, that's a benefit because when you take a look at these bars in a rack and you talk about unracking and re-racking your weights, having those shorter collars also means the weight plates are closer to that rack and you really increase the chances of you hitting the rack upon unracking and re-racking your weights, which I find to be a huge detractor. So all things being considered equal with price and the more aggressive neural on the west side bar and the slightly bigger collars, I do actually think my west side bar is a better bar in that instance. However, 
when you do bring in the fact that there's a 45 pound version and most people watching this are lifting in pounds that has the same actual specs as this bar, has the little bit wider collars and comes in at $375 or $50 less than the best bar or the West Side Power Bar. I do think it's the best bar overall and it would be the one I would recommend to anybody out there. It has that nice black zinc finish with bright zinc collars. It's gonna last a long time and it's gonna be a fantastic bar at a fantastic price. If you have any other questions on these barbells, let me know in the description box below. I will try to answer them. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big and try not to have these black shafts too close to your face too often. It's bad for the skin.